It's time to get right with God. This is the time for you to get right with God and deal with this mercy. Don't receive the mercy in vain. Don't turn away from the gentle call of Jesus to come back to his arms. Jesus warned that in the last days many are going to grow cold. The scripture says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall grow cold. And he said this is going to happen in a time he called the beginning of sorrows. And folks, we're living in the beginning of sorrows. We're living in a time of unprecedented greed, rampant iniquity, sexual perversions beyond description. And Jesus said, in those times, in the beginning of sorrows, many hearts are going to go cold. And he said they're going to turn away. If you were still walking with a cold heart, you've chosen the wrong time. This is not the time, according to scripture, to reject the loving call of Christ. Coldness leads to hardness. That's what the scripture says. He said, there will come a great falling away. And those who receive not the truth are going to fall under what the scripture calls the deceivableness of sin. It's so deceptive, it can harden a cold heart. And the scripture says, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. If you have a hard heart, it's not going to work. You're not going to listen. You're not going to hear. Hardness, a heart that is beyond the influence of the greatest, gracious pleading of Christ. They place themselves beyond the pleadings of the Holy Spirit. It's a self-imposed exclusion with no intention of ever obeying the call of the gospel. No intention ever. No matter what preachers preach, no matter how the Lord himself could come down in the flesh, the Bible said, and they, many would not believe. A refusal to accept the mercy of Christ. A person who keeps putting distance between himself and God. The self-imposed and the hardness, coldness leads to hardness. Now is the time to get right with God because this generation has lost, secondly, has lost the fear of God. There's no fear of God left in the land. And you see, if you have no fear of God, you have to invent a gospel of convenience. And this is what's happened in America and around the world. You see, man can't get away from that nagging sense. And that's the Holy Spirit who says there's death and then there's judgment. There's a day of standing before God to give an account. And the Bible makes it very, very clear there's a heaven and there's a hell. And there's a day we're going to have to give an account. And there's a hell. And, and Jesus said there's, there's a hell of fire and weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, a darkness that can be felt. There's a hell. But, but you see, man has to invent a gospel where there's no God. And that's where we are in the United States and around the world right now. No hell, no heaven. This is it. So just live it up and have, have your fun. You see, this is the danger. He brings in a Jesus that is tolerant. That's the key word right now, tolerance. Many Christian young people are saying we need to be more tolerant. But now the Spirit speak in the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Any man of God is standing there and saying, turn back, go back, go back. Now is the time to make it right. Jesus is coming very soon. He's at the door. No one knows the time or the hour, but Jesus told us what's going to happen prior to his coming. He gives very clear evidence. Jesus said there'll be wars, there will come false Christ, but don't be terrified because the end is not yet. Then, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, 
and fearful sights and great signs in the heaven. And then shall they see the Son of Man come in a cloud with power and great glory. Listen to what he said. When men's hearts fail them for fear and for looking upon those things that are coming on the earth, it's one of the surest signs when everywhere there's fear and men's hearts are failing them just watching those things that are coming on the earth. We don't hear much about the coming of Christ in modern Christianity.